Hello indie game lovers, it's Slushy here. Today I want to show you guys Basilisk. It's by Milky Joe Games. It's still in its alpha and it's going on to Kickstarter later this week. I think it deserves some support. It's quite an interesting game. I was playing it quite a bit today and um, I'm still not very good at it. It's quite a complex game if you really dig into it. Now, the way I'm playing it at the moment, it's more like an arcade game where I'm just trying to survive as long as I can. Uh, I don't understand all the really complex metabolic functions and stuff you can perform, but I'll show you what I can do. When you first start off, uh, it generates a random environment, so every time you play it will be totally different. And also it simulates um, all the gen uh, genomes and stuff of the bacteria and all that gets randomly generated, so it's different as well, as well as the environmental conditions like sulfur and stuff like that. Now what I've got to do first, because it's still a test copy, is set up my keys and but this gives me a good opportunity to show you guys a couple of the um, abilities there is let me see what do I normally use grab nutrients and these are all like based on real abilities that bacteria would have um, this yeah, summons other bacteria of the same type this don't exactly understand what that is but it converts some sort of nutrients in your body into carbohydrates I think so that you can well when I'm running low on energy anyway I use that and it seems to help uh, vortexin which I can't remember exactly what that is and the important one is divide because the key in this game is to uh, build up mass divide your cell or your bacteria and hopefully when you divide it you get some favorable characteristics uh, you get sort of mutations and stuff each time you do it so uh, I'm pause, go back to the game these yellow dots you can see are like simple sugars that are instantly digestible so you want to get a lot of these as quick as you can to help bulk up if you press F6 you can see your size oh, I'm at 353% already it's probably a good time to divide already but I want some protein first There's some, oh no, that's not protein. Protein's like an orange squiggly. There we go. Need a little bit more. Now I'm going to divide. Hopefully, when I divided, I actually got some favorable. We can see there's actually been a mutation because the name has changed. Now it's just a matter of finding what that is. So I'll disenable all the stats. And I'll have a look at them this way. Um, so yeah, as we can see here on the metabolism uh, tab, its carbon metabolism has changed. So I'm not sure which is better, divide two or divide three. I'm just going to guess three because it's a bigger number. So I'm going to use that one from now on. Change the game. Try and grow this guy up. Well, he's already 200%. He can probably already breed again. Well, he's very low on sugar or sheen. So I can show you that ability. Um, that one should draw in nutrients to me. I think it is, and this one should call in any nearby bacteria that are the same type. As you evolve, you get better abilities. Like you can instruct multiple bacteria to do stuff. Ah, you can see here. This is DNA, I think, and that helps. Seems to help in the chances of getting mutations. Now, I also should have pressed F1 to see what my environmental factors are like. And then I should check with, in the micropedia I think it is, change it to environment. And then we can check up in these tabs what sort of salt levels, what pH, what temperatures, uh, you know all sorts of things we can see what the ideal conditions are for this bacteria to survive and thrive otherwise if you go outside those parameters your life span will be severely shortened so you really want to keep one eye on those environmental conditions in the top left corner there you now they come up by pressing F1 as you can see there it says new day more nitrates and every day you'll get different random conditions that could be favorable or disadvantageous so I'm going to attempt uh, another division and hopefully get some sort of favorable mutation. 
Alright, well, we have an LNT3 mutation, and that appears to have increased his force to 10, which means he will, I think when he bashes into other bacteria, he will have a lot more impact. And also his defense has gone up to 8, so that's really good. So I'm going to use this guy from now on, and try and divide this guy, and hopefully try and get more favorable mutations, so you can see where I'm going here. Now, the stuff that I can't actually, well, I don't understand at the moment, is, ooh, is it the metabolism? Well, not that. It's in here where you can choose what uh, nutrients and chemicals you transport in and out of your bacteria. So there's a lot here to get the hang of. Even just playing it how I'm playing it, like pretty much like a simple arcade game, it's still pretty good. But it's making me want to learn all these other more detailed aspects of the game so I can get a little bit more out of it. Now, it's still in alpha and it's going to Kickstarter this week. That's basically why I've done the video to draw some attention to this game. There's a lot more features he wants to add, uh, including even multiplayer. I'd like to see how that's going to work. So I'll put a link to Milky Joe's blog uh, in the description. I can't put a link to the Kickstarter yet because it hasn't actually kicked off. But yeah, I think this is definitely a very original, interesting game. It's worth supporting. There's some good benefits to be had if you get in on the Kickstarter early. I think for $40 you get to name a bacteria and possibly even design it, uh, as well as obviously getting the game. I think for $15 you get the game and you get to name bacteria. I think for $10 you get the beta uh, before anyone else, obviously. And I think the cheapest one is $1 where you get your names in the credits and you get to ask Milky Joe any biology question you like, which could be quite educational for some people, I imagine. But anyway, there's a lot more features in this game. I, I've only really brushed the surface. Um, head over to Milky J's blog if you're interested. There's a lot more information over there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this brief look at it in this video. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll catch you later, guys. Have fun.